Hello, guys. Oh, my God. Okay. I don't even know where to start, but I, I think the funniest thing to me was the first line when you start up the film. Warning, <laughs> the movie, <laughs> this movie, was per, the, the actions performed by professionals. I mean, really, uh, <laughs> at this point, I mean, you've been doing it so long. Are you professionals? Oh, yeah. Once, once you do something for a while and you pass the amateur stage, you're a professional and we are professionals. This is what we do. <laughs> We've been doing it now for 22 years. So if you think about it, it is our career. So <laughs> it is amazing the longevity that you guys have been doing this. What was it like getting the group back together? What was the first day like that you were together? Pete. It was a lot of fun. Uh, it was it was um, emotional in that we learned really quick that we, we were going to be able to get the gang back together and, and do it. And we had our mojo back. You know, it was it was it was a big day. That first day of filming was a big day the, in the movie. The human ramp we filmed within a few hours of being there. Really? Yeah. Yeah. That was day one. <laughs> it's quite that that's quite a way to jump back into things. What? Yeah. Literally. Was that? <laughs> At, at what point did you know you were going to do this epic intro, though? Because the intro, the, that, that like, the, the opening credits is one of the greatest things. You know, wh what was that like to film? We were actually going to film that as a bit for Chris, the Pontosaurus. And uh, Spike Jones was watching it being filmed. And he said, we have to stop. We have to rethink this. This can be an intro. And then they, he just started writing it and we were like, all right, finally. And we did film quite a few bits already. We didn't know what our intro was going to be because we saved the intro for our last days of filming. Oh, That's really? our hurrah to film the intro. So. Okay. So for each of you, what was your favorite bit from this one? Is, is there one that, that stood out for both of you? Go Pete. Uh, for me, is uh, the uh, speed bag bit just because that was my big bit, my big signature bit, you know, where I got my testicles pummeled by a um, Milwaukee power saw. <laughs> I would say mine was the triple wedgie with Zach and Preston. I mean, the vulture is pretty gold too. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <So. laughs> I dare say. Yeah. So. <laughs> what? what was your favorite bit for the others? Because like, I mean, the fact that there was a bear involved in this one, I mean, that was, I mean, that was almost shocking in a way. I mean, it's hard to be shocked now by, by Jackass, but like, that was pretty shocking. Yeah, that was a good one. That was, we should, we weren't, Preston and I weren't there and they split the crew. Cause they thought, well, if we don't get it in one take, we're going to get it in two. And when we showed up, Pre uh, Aaron was just covered in all this goo, and we're like, what was that? And they didn't tell us the bit till later. So they knew they didn't get anybody else. So it once I saw it, I was like, holy crap, that's crazy. Yeah, they went back and watched the footage uh, right after of Aaron and soon realized they had pure gold and didn't need to shoot anybody else. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it, it, I mean, it worked out really well, but man, that was, that was wild. Yeah. Uh, What's Johnny like? I mean, in terms of a collaborator and someone that you both have worked with for so long, uh, what was he like to, to be with again? Exactly the same. He, yeah, he comes off exactly the same. He, he's the same. He, the way you see him, that's how he is. You say collaborator, we say instigator. <laughs> <laughs> That is a great that is a great way to put it. But certainly for for this franchise, like that's that's amazing. Yeah, you couldn't ask for more, could you? No, we need him. <laughs> He's if a it wasn't him, if he wasn't there, we would just be clipping uh, flowers and smelling him and selling roses. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm really curious too. Is there a stunt that you guys wish could happen that hasn't happened yet? Is there something still in the ether that you you hope to make true. Preston well, wrote one. Yes, but we can't. I don't want to say it because you no. know I I want to have the chance to do it in the future. Yeah, we don't want to give up info that somebody else goes and then does. 
fair. I mean, TikTok yeah. these days is getting yeah. pretty outlandish too. So you've got you've got streaming competitors now. But here's the funny thing: we were doing this before YouTube. So, you know, and we're still holding strong. It is amazing the, the yeah. number of years that this has been going on. Do you yeah. do you do you have to get psyched up for this? Like when you're about oh. to go out there and do one of these things, what does it take to do it? A little bit of slayer and a lot of black savvy. <laughs> it's like you're gonna have to fight the toughest bully in school tomorrow morning. You can't get yeah. out of it. Just got to go down there and put your fist up and take it. Yep. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. What is the worst recovery that you've ever had? Like, uh, what's the longest it takes to recover from one of these bits? Because I imagine it's days. Sometimes yeah, there's a motion point. Yeah. Well, either. Yeah. Pain, pain's temporary. <laughs> Emotions hurt the most. <laughs> but then you see it's gold. Yeah. But then you get gold. And once it's out in the theaters, you're stoked. Well, the last thing I want to know is, what's it like, the fact that you have these fans who have been there from the beginning? You've got new fans that I've seen on Twitter talk about now. What is it like having this community surrounding you that it honestly is such a caring community? Feels good, for sure. It It's awesome because when you go out places and you see people, people realize we're just like them. We're just average Joes but we're just a little bit crazy up top. And uh, people just love, they, they feel, people come up to us like they've been bros with us or, you know, buddies for years. And it, it's just awesome. That's amazing. Well, thank you guys for the time. I really appreciate it. It is remarkable what you, you guys have gone through and accomplished. And it's such a great story. Thank you so much. Thanks You're for awesome. having us, Andy. Thank you. Feel great. Thank you. 